Well, hi there, Blackers. I have a sore finger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. Well, uh, this one is a classic song that's been requested by one of my subscribers, and it is Write a Shade of Pale by Progwell Harum. <laughs> Normally associated, obviously, with the piano and the Hammond sound, uh, but uh, it goes over to the guitar quite nicely if you can hum the, uh, the organ parts. <laughs> uh, I'm in standard tuning, no capos, and I am doing it in the same key as the original Procol Harum White to Show Pearl recording. Okay, so without more ado, I am going to do the intro and I'm going to hum the Hammond organ part, and then I'm going to do the first verse and the first mm, chorus come bridge section, call it what you like. Okay, and then uh, I shall break it down for you, and you'll have all the parts you need to play the complete song. Okay. And then um, I'm going to do two versions for you. I'm going to demo uh, now the uh, just a purely strumming version. And then after I've done the breakdown, I'll show you how you could play it accentuating the descending bass line, if you so wish to do so. Okay. So without more ado, let's try and get through this. Um, please excuse the voice as usual. Okay. And uh, off we go. <clears throat> That's it, that's all the parts that are in the song really, okay? So, uh, let's break it down for you to start with and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do, okay? So, um, you, if you want to go get yourself a, <laughs> a pen and paper, you might like to, if I just talk you through the chords to start with, then you can write the sequence down if you so wish, okay? So it starts off with a C. So this is the intro, okay? We do the intro. So the, the only difference is the ending of, uh, the, the, when it gets to the end of the sequence, the, the verse is slightly different to the intro. But, uh, so this is the intro, okay? C, E minor, A minor, C, F, A minor, D minor, F, G, G seventh, E minor, G, C, F, G, F. And it's in the verse. We scared the lights, right? So we'll just go through that playing that uh, intro slowly, okay? So and you have look at your sheet and then follow the chords, okay? So I'll try and shout them out for you. So it's C, E minor, play minor, C, F, A minor, D minor, F, 
G, G7, E minor, G, C, F, G, F, C. That's where the, that's where the uh, verse starts, okay? So I so say the verse is very, very similar apart from the end bit, okay? So off we go into the verse. It's the same as I just do it slowly and call out the chords, okay? So C, we skip, E minor, A, A minor, the band, O, C, F, turn A minor, the wheels cross the D minor, F, G. That was G7 feeling, kind of E minor, three, G, C, and the E minor crowd called that A minor chord, C, F, and then A minor chord, D minor chord, F, G, and that's the G7 feeling, to the E minor, G, C, and when the E minor chord out, for A minor chord, the C drinking, F, a minor, it's got to D minor. Okay, a bit of a break, a bit of a pause there, and it goes, and so it was. Okay, so that's G, okay. And so it and on, was, oh sorry, and so it, C, C was that leader. And that's back into that, uh, this goes into the uh, middle section, bridge section, chorus chord, whatever you like, okay? So, um, once again, very slowly, we'll just go through uh, the verse, okay? Uh, just so we've got this uh, nailed, okay? So, after it comes out of the intro, and it goes uh, C to F to G to F into the verse, C. Skip D minor, A minor, and angle, C, F, to A minor, D minor, F, G, G7, that's feeling, and E minor, G, C, ground, E minor, pull down, for A minor, pull, C, F, ring, A minor, D minor, F, G, as a G7 feeling, E minor, A, G, C, when E minor chord out from A minor chord, the C, D, E, F, and the A minor chord to the D minor trace, pause, G, and so it was C, E minor, that leader C F as A minor Miller told you D minor tail F G that G7 please was just E minor C G turned a C leader F to C to G and then into another intro okay so we'll just go through this uh, middle section, bridge section, chorus, what you call it, we like. <laughs> so it comes out of the first verse and it goes, and uh, and the waiter brought a tray, and it's, and so it, John G, okay, that's all on G, and so it, C was, E minor, the A minor later, C, and F, as A minor mirror told his D minor tail, F, G, that a G7 phrase was a G minor, three G, to a C, A, to a F, big a shade of C, A, L, G. Right, so hopefully you'll have got now the intro and the verse and the bridge chorus part. Um, just as a strumming version, okay? Now, as I said, there is also another way you could play it where you accentuate the um, walking down or descending bass line, and it's exactly the same chords, but you have to accentuate uh, uh, the, the, the root note in most cases, okay, but not every note, okay? So it starts off obviously a C, so it's... Okay, 
Okay, so the, the walking bass or the descending bass line is basically C, third, third on the fifth, second on the fifth to the next E minor, then A minor, open fifth. So it's Now you have to play a G note, which is third on the sixth, okay? So, and it's a C chord, so you have to play the full C chord, four fingers, okay? So you can play that sixth string, okay? So it's, so far we've got... Okay, got that? Do that again slowly for you. C, second on the fifth. A, e minor, a, open A, fifth string, then the C with a G in the bass, okay, then we play F, okay, then we play E, open sixth string with A minor, okay, so, so far, F bar chord, so I can imagine. So you can hit that so first on the six, and then open six string with an A minor. Okay, D minor. So you accentuate the fourth string open. Okay, so so far. Uh, A minor and then D minor and then an F again bar chord but you have to hit the fifth third fret on the fifth string not the F note it's that note there you need the fifth string on the third fret of the F chord see so so far Again, once again in slow motion. Sorry, I played that wrong. Let's start that again. Sorry, I missed out the E. Sorry. F to A minor. But playing that note as the bass note, okay, the third on the fifth. All right, then we move the, the chord up to G, bar chord, and, and play that uh, fifth fret of the fourth string, okay, so it's. All right. Then we play G7 by taking off pinky and playing the fourth string again. And then. It's, it's, that's the bass note for the chord. So it's... Got that? Okay. Then an E minor, but but the, the lead note is the second on the fourth. Okay, so... Okay, so that, that run there is... Okay, and then E minor. And then finally, um, you play this G chord again, but the, the note you need to lead it off with is, is that fifth fret of the fifth string. So, because the notes are going. Okay, so it's. Okay, so. So far, then, we've got this. the intro one so the when you come back after you come to come to that 
fifth on the G goes to C, so you play that that note on the C note. F, you can accentuate the first on the sixth. Up to G, third on uh, first on sixth, and now third on the sixth. Back to F and accentuate the first on the sixth to the C, and that's that's when the verse starts. Okay, so the whole the whole intro uh, using the descending bass line is this. So that then basically you go into the verse, and the verse is basically the same thing, okay, that I've just shown you with the descending bass line, okay? So it starts off on the C, skip the life and angle, F to A minor with open six, D minor, F with a third on the fifth, G. C progression down the room was humming as the ceiling flew and fell down dream and the uh, sorry So, and that's it, it just follows that pattern all the way through the song, okay? Um, so you can you can mix and match, or you can do one or the other, you know? Just another idea I thought I might throw into the uh, mix, so to speak, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, classic song, and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.